this section of the video i am going to explain how to set up the olt management before setting up the olt management first we have to note down so various important details or parameters which are required the olt ip address so in this case we are taking 10215772 and we have to note down the next hop ip address 10215721 and we have to note down the vlan here the management channel will be pushed through the data port uh, to the uplink through the management vlan we need to know what is the uplink port number of the olt on which the data uplink is connected uh, it is the ethernet port number 1 we will see whether this port the link is up after we log in to the olt we can go here to the inventory and click on the ports and we have to see whether the ethernet port number 1 the admin status is up and then we also see whether the link status is up after this we come back and we have to manually enter address of the olt we have a option called router id default ip address here the router id is nothing but the olt ip address so we copy from here here it will ask are you sure to enter the ip address here the olt reboot will happen so we click on accept my valid modifications the olt will reboot and once the reboot is completed we will again get back the login screen and the ip address what we require will be mentioned or entered in the dot ready file next step we will have to configure the dcm we have seen that the router id has got registered so next on the left side folder we go to configuration under configuration we have option called dcm under dcn we go to network interface so in network interface we have to add a new management vlan interface provision new management vlan interface we have to select the port number so cpu port on the cpu port cpu port is a virtual port on which we receive the management and this uh, traffic management traffic can be shared to any other uplink sni port the management number 9 next is broadcast enable and here we have to give the olt ip address and then the net mask len all the settings here are default no need to make any changes click on submit so we get are you sure but the network interface would have got created we can see here network interface and the network interface 119 on the vlan 119 has got created on the cpu port next is we have to use the next hop ip and create the static route under the dcn folder we have the option for static route here choose the network interface the cpu port on the cpu port network destination address 0.0.0 .0 .0. and mask len will be zero the next hop ip address 10215.7.1 and this can be default settings submit now we have successfully created a static node the management is created on the virtual port so we will still see here that the static route though it is given the management uh, is not true because we have to still link the virtual port cpu port to the uplink ethernet port so we have to create a service management service on uh, 119 vlan so the left side we minimize this we see here l2 services under this we got a service provisioning here we see flow point template we provision a new flow point template 
ASML, OLT, management, you know, we can give any name here, then CVLAN 1193. Now the flow point template or the VLAN number has been created. Next, we create the management service. We have to add a new VLAN service. We just give a name. Remaining settings are kept default. Create. Next, we again come back to VLAN service. And here, the service which we have created. We see here, BSNL management VLAN 119 service is there. Open the service and here we have to add the flow point. Nothing but we are adding the Ethernet port and the CPU port. First is add the new flow point and here we need to select management traffic. So in the, this option, select management traffic, interface name. So interface name is the CPU port. The so CPU port is selected here and then the flow point template. Created here BSNL management VLAN 119. Select it. The remaining settings are default. Create. Yes. Now we come back to ELAN services. Under ELAN services, the bottom table for data type of service, other type for management type of services. So click on management. Our service is there. We have added only one port. We need to add this Ethernet port, the uplink port, the physical port 119. So here management traffic, type of traffic is management, then interface is Ethernet port 111 and here we have to choose the flow point template, then number 111, click create. We go back here, VLAN service and under management services, we just check whether the two flow points are added. If the traffic is through, we can see the MAC addresses uh, of the outer routers. You can see that on the Ethernet port 111, we are able to receive the MAC address from BSNL, and this is the MAC address of the OLT. We can see here the OLT and the BSNL uplink router have been successfully interfaced. We can also check whether the ping is happening to the next stop height. So we go to maintenance, under maintenance we go to diagnost diagnostics, DCN monitor, then system, then ping. Here we can ping to the next stop IP address. So we can see here that the management channel has been successfully commissioned. Thanks for viewing this video. I hope you will be able to configure your management channel successfully.